A very good evening, everyone. Welcome to IS with Aryan. Student, as you know, ki every day at 9 p.m. we are discussing about the Indian polity. And basically, this series is named as Prelims Possible. And uh, students, uh, this session is going to be beneficial for those who are preparing for any state PSC examination as well as for the UPSC examination. So stay tuned in, in the session as well as share this video with your friends also. And basically, this session is based on a book that is uh, specially published by Arihan. And uh, there is other uh, there is a book the same series for the other subject also, and this is series is called as prelims possible. And the students, this will be a uh, uh, means uh, a great uh, uh, means a book list for your examination. Okay, because this book contains lots of information, and uh, this book is divided into chapters, and that chapter is divided into topics. There is a topical based mind map with each and every topic students. Along with that, there is a very great MCQs that was previously asked by the examinations. And there is a very great explanation with each of each and every question. And as you know, ki we are doing MCQs also with each and every question students. Along with that, there is a to, uh, knowledge plus for the typical questions and 3500 plus PYQ bullets students. Okay. So this is very important to understand and in the morning we started with the topic that is election qualification and tenure of the president. So we are discussing about the chapter president of India and uh, in the chapter topic 2 we are discussing that is election qualification tenure of president. So we already discussed that there will be an electoral college okay, that consists of elected member of parliament, elected member of legislative assembly of a state. Along with that, students elected member of Legislative Assembly of Delhi, Pondicherry and Jammu Kashmir. And this basically this election is based on an indirect method that is proportional representation based. And it is by single transferable voting system. And what is the qualification of students for the president election? So let's suppose someone want to participate, he or she must qualify it to be the member of Lok, uh, Lok Sabha. Qualified to be the member of Lok Sabha. She must complete the age 35 year. Along with that, she or he must be the citizen of India and not holding office, any office of profit under the government of uh, India as well as government of state. So tenure or term for the office of president is for five year. Okay, everyone. So uh, 10 question we already covered and now we are going to start with the 11th question. So I hope I'm audible properly, I'm visible to you properly. So just opt the right question students, I means just opt the right answer and uh, I am just starting one by one each and every question with you. Okay, so the first question, so given below there is a two statement, one is labeled as assertion and other is labeled as reason. You have to find the correct opinion, correct match. Okay, so what this assertion says that during the term of office, no litigation can be instituted in any court of law against the president of India. It means that basically it is mentioning ki when someone on the president position, he or she is not going to charge with any type of case. Means we are not able to go for the court. Let's suppose president is committing some mistake in that case also. No one is uh, uh, able to go court. In the matter of criminal case also, in the matter of civil case also, but for the civil matter, there is a condition, okay? That is, you have to notify before two months, 60 day. Okay, Arjun. So, reason says that president office is above the constitution. So, if you see assertion is correct. Student in India, no one is above the constitution. So, constitution is supreme. Now I'll say, sir, why if constitution is, uh, uh, means uh, if president, we are not able to charge president, then how constitution is supreme? As you know, students, the post of president is mentioned under constitution students, under article 52. So president post along with that students, the privilege, the power, these all included under the constitution of India. So. He is means basically constitution is above the president. So this reason is incorrect and assertion is correct. So if you see students, assertion is true, but reason is false. So we will go with the option number C. I hope you are able to connect it to students. So do you feel any doubt, any difficulties? 
just tell me if you feel it if you uh, feel any type of uh, uh, difficulties here so just tell me any doubt students okay great okay so now we are going to see the explanation part as it is also included here uh, assertion is true but reason is false why assertion is true so article 361 of indian constitution uh, grant the protection or immunity to the president of india so there is a immunity okay to the president of india as well as governor of the state students so the indian president is supreme uh, of the state and cannot be arrested during the term of office the president of india is effectively immune from the criminal proceedings and cannot be arrested or not answerable to any court president is not above the constitution because president post is included under the indian constitution students so he is getting power he is getting uh, the power or position from the president so we can say this this uh, uh, this is a uh, means a uh, so if we see president basically uh, uh, presently he is earning 5 lakh salaries per month without any tax so tax ex exemption is there along with that students there is a lots of privilege he is getting a home okay that is called as president house so where he is living along with that students there are lots of privileges okay food and these all things are free okay and see this uh, uh, initially this was uh, means this payment was less I have to check it so just check it once okay now he is earning 5 lakh rupees and students basically parliament has power to increase the salary of or allowance of basically the president of india so this is very important just try to remember so as per the second schedule of the constitution of india the emoluments allowance and privileges of president of india are determined by parliament by law so his or her emoluments and allowance cannot be diminished during his or her term of office the salary and allowance of president are charged from the consolidate fund of india students okay so this is very important and just try to remember for the examination now see the next thing that is question number 13 it was once again in bihar psc and re repeated two times in 1994 and 2005 the president of india can be removed from his post by what so students there is a condition president of india is elected he is elected by single transferable voting system proportional representation and there is an electoral college that is going to choose the president of india so president position is nominal titular and de jure so he, he, he basically uh, uh, means he is the head of the state but he is he is not able to do he is not able to function alone he required a cabinet and council of minister or simply you can say the prime minister including council of minister to aid and advise so what you find students this president post is the highest post according to the constitution but he or she means who is the president they can also remove from their office but there is only one condition condition is what violation of constitution violation of constitution so if anyone who is at the post of president if he or she going to violate the constitution of india in that case only he or she can be removed and this procedure of impeachment will start from the parliament students so there is a condition so if means let's suppose anyone means any house of the parliament lok sabha or rajya sabha any house if they want to start the impeachment bill in that case they will put a charge means they will issue a notice okay and this notice is 14 day notice and this is also called as 14 day prior notice means uh, from the lok sabha 
a 14 day prior notice will start but there is a condition one fourth member see students i told you it can start from lok sabha it can start from raj sabha but condition will be same 14 day notice will be there and one fourth member must be agree to bring the impeachment bill for president getting it and after that students 14th day when which day 14th day if this bill is passed means it is going to be in motion uh, in lok sabha it is started from lok sabha if this bill is passed with a 2 by 3rd majority then this bill will go to the other house okay other house and now students other house will function as what it will function as quasi judicial body or you can say it will function as investigating house why it is called investigating house here so students the other house if it is start from lok sabha then rajya sabha will be investigating house and if it is lok sabha the uh, means it is start from uh, rajya sabha then lok sabha will be the investigating house so after passing from the lok sabha or rajya sabha vice versa this bill will reach to the other house and it will investigating house here president can participate so president will participate but in the uh, 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 in the other house or you can say in the investigating house here president can defend president can give a uh, condition why he or she did this and let's suppose a student rajya sabha accepted what he said and he is not means basically rajya sabha not going to pass the bill it means that impeachment bill is going to be quashed but let's suppose rajya sabha also passed this bill with the 2 by 3 majority in that case students president is thought to be impeached so condition is that 14 days prior notice one fourth member must be agree and after that students uh, it must pass with the two third majority in the other house it is investigating house where president can participate he can give answer to some questions as well as he can give uh, argument for the uh, any uh, means what he did okay everyone but let's suppose from here only this bill is going to be passed then president is think to be impeached students so this is mentioned under article 61 of indian constitution article 61 is mentioning about the procedure of impeachment very important students but the term impeachment this was the question in uh, Rajasthan PSC. So, impeachment word is included under Article 56 of Indian Constitution. Getting it? Now, the President of India can be removed from his post by Parliament by a process of impeachment for violation of the Constitution. The impeachment article, that is Article 61, charge can be initiated by either House of Parliament and these charge should be signed by one fourth member of that house okay and uh, a 14 days prior notice will give to the president until in india means still in indian democracy no president is impeached okay everyone there was a time when gyani jail singh was the president at that time this procedure was started but it was closed okay everyone now see the next question the impeachment of president of india can be initiated in this question was in UPSC pre-1996, JKPSC 2003, UPPSC 2007, uh, Assam PSC 2015 and West Bengal Civil Services in 2019 students. So, so impeachment as I already told you this is mentioned under article this word for the first time mentioned under article 56 but the process is mentioned under article 61. So from where this bill can be start? Either house of parliament? A joint sitting of both house of parliament, the Lok Sabha alone and the Rajya Sabha alone. So students as we already discussed, the impeachment bill can be start from either house of parliament. It may be from Lok Sabha, it may be from Rajya Sabha, but there will be a prior notice is required. 14 days notice is needed everyone. I hope you all getting it. Anybody have any doubt, any difficulties? So if you have, you guys can share with me. 
Now otherwise we are going to see the explanation. The impeachment of President of India can be initiated by any, any uh, house of the parliament and uh, these charges should be signed by one fourth member of the house. After the impeachment resolution is passed by a majority of two third of the total member of the house, then it is sent to the other house which investigate the charges. If the other house sustain the charges and passes the impeachment solution by a majority of two third of the total member, then president stand removal from the office on the date uh, uh, which no solution in so spend students. Okay, have you? Now see the next question. To whom does the president of India submit his resignation? So there is a condition student let's suppose president want to give resignation. So he will give resignation to whom? Vice President, Chief Justice of India, Speaker of Lok Sabha or basically uh, Prime Minister. Student the President Oath. Oath is performed by CJI. Okay. But President will give resignation to Vice President. Vice President give will resignation to President. Okay. So this is very simple. President will give resignation to Vice President and Vice President will give resignation to President. Okay. Now we are moving further. So here it is already written. Okay. So now I am just going to see the explanation part. So President of India submit his resignation to the Vice President of India. Under Article 56 of the Indian Constitution, there is a term of Office of President and that term is for 5 years from the date on which he or she enter in his office students. However, he can resign from the office before the uh, completing the term any time and he will give resignation to the Vice President of India. Getting it? Now, the 16th question we have, it was in Bihar PSC re-exam 2021. So, Indian President is eligible for re-election for how many times? Student, if we talk about the re-election of the president, it is mentioned under Article 57. So, re-election. So, president can elect n number of times. Means there is no limitation. But if we talk about in USA, he or she can be president for two terms consecutively. Okay, but in India, there is a no term. So, we can say any number of time, there is no limitation. And there are, I means uh, basically the first president of India, we will discuss about that also. The first president of India was Dr. Rajinder Prashad sir. And he is the president who became president for two term. So, longest serving president of India. Getting it? Very good, Karan. Okay, I hope you all getting it, students. So, if we go through the explanation, the Indian president is eligible for the re-election for any number of time. Article 57 deals with the eligibility for the re-election of the president students. So, any individual can be elected constitutionally any number of time if he or she fulfill the all requirement under the provision of the constitution students. I hope you all getting it. Now, see the next question. It was in Chhattisgarh PSC 2011. Which article of Indian constitution Prescribe eligibility condition for re-election. Very important students. Eligibility condition for re-election to the post of President of India. As we already know, Article 52 is mentioning about the there shall be a President of India. Article 54 is about the electoral college. Election or you can say simply election of a President. Here the election manner of president and students article 57 is about the re-election of president getting it so automatically the same means option d is going to be right answer for the same so article 57 deals with the eligibility condition for re-election of president it state that a person who hold or who has held Office of President shall subjected to other provision of constitution be eligible 
for the re-election to the office okay now see this question was multiple time in UPPCS okay 1998 2005 and 2013 so the vacant post of president is to be filled within so there is a condition let's suppose students president position is a uh, vacant because of impeachment because of resignation because of let's suppose death so there is a two time there is a president office vacated in 1969 when there was a person named as Jakir Hussain so he was the president of India and he was died at that time students this position became vacate and after that students at that time vice president was vv giri so he took the charges okay after that he uh, uh, he want to participate in election so he resigned now he give resignation and uh, uh, he re means at that time there was a cgi chief justice of india justice m hidayatullah hidayatullah so Justice M. Hidayatullah chosen as means he was uh, appointed as president and later the election was conducted and Vivi Giri chosen as a vice president uh, means uh, president of India student. So one more condition in 1977 Fakruddin Ali Ahmed okay he was died and at the at that time B.D. Jatti who B.D. Jatti was the vice president and who took the charge for the president of India. And the maximum this vacancy can be for maximum six months. So within six months from the date of the vacancy, election must be conducted. So these are some conditions, these are some facts you must know for your examination. So vacant post of the president must fill within six months. And it is mentioned under Article 62, Clause 2 of Indian Constitution. So the period of vacant post of president should be filled within six months from the date of occurrence of vacancy because of his death resignation or removal by the process of impeachment or otherwise students i hope you all getting it now see the question number 19th this was in rajasthan administrative services 2016 the procedure of impeachment of president in india uh, of india is it is a judicial procedure it is a quasi judicial procedure it is legislative procedure or it is a executive procedure opt it carefully okay because these are some tricky question that asked by the examination previously so if you go through the right uh, option students what you find basically it is a quasi judicial procedure because as i already told you uh, where president can participate with the other house he or she can give argument why uh, means how, why they did and what is the reason behind this okay so the procedure of impeachment of president of india is a quasi judicial procedure according to article 61 of the constitution when president is to be impeached for the violation of constitution the charge shall be preferred by either house of the parliament so no such charges shall be preferred unless the proposal to prefer such charges is contain a resolution uh, which has been moved after at least 14 day notice in writing it must be signed by not less than uh, one fourth of the total member of the house such a resolution has been passed by a majority of not less than two third of the total membership of the house students i hope you are getting it so b was the right answer now see the next question students it was in uttarakhand psc as well as in up psc multiple time under which article of the Indian constitution can the president be impeached? So by which of the following article there is an impeachment procedure for the president students? So article 356 we already know this is about the state emergency. Okay, State emergency and it is also called as president rule. Okay. Article 75 is about the appointment of Prime Minister and Council of Ministers and their provision, some other provision too. Article 76 as we already conducted, it is about the Attorney General of India. And yesterday I asked a question, who is the present Attorney General of India students? And Article 61 is about the 
इंपीचमेंट ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट ओके सो इंपीचमेंट ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट कैन ओनली इनिशिएट वेन देर इज अ कंडीशन वॉयलेशन ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल गेटिंग इट वेरी सिंपल वेरी ईजी सो वंस अगेन इट इट इज रिटर्न हियर एंसर डी अंडर आर्टिकल सिक्सटी वन ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रेसिडेंट कैन बी इम्पीच ओके सो एज ए ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू क्यों दिस चार्जेस कैन बी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम लोकसभा और राज्यसभा बट कंडीशन इज दैट फोर्टीन डे प्रायर नोटिस एंड देन लेट सपोज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम लोकसभा ओके देन दिज अ कंडीशन बिल मस्ट पास विद बाई टू थर्ड मेजोरिटी एंड आफ्टर दैट दिस विल गो टू अदर हाउस सो हियर इफ इट इज लोकसभा देन हियर विल बी राज्यसभा ओके एंड राज्यसभा विल डू वॉट If it is also going to pass with two third majority, then president is thing to be impeached. Students, getting it? Very simple, very easy. Now see the question number twenty-one. It was in uh, UPS uh, UPPCS pre two thousand fourteen. At least how many days of prior notice is required for the impeachment of president of India? How many prior? Uh, how many days prior notice is mentioned? Sorry. so it is 7 days 14 days 21 days and 13 days 30 days so what you see students basically a 14 day prior notice is needed if someone want to start means if any any of the houses want to start impeachment bill against the president of india students okay so 14 day prior notice because it we discuss it already multiple time so i know you no one means no one going to make any type of mistake now see this question is little tricky so in case of vacancy arising from any cause other than expiry of the term the press in the of the president office an election to fill the vacancy must be held within so as we already discussed the, the, this question was there okay so within 6 month from the date of occurrence of vacancy after 1 year from the date of vacancy after 9 month from the date of vacancy and after 7 month from the date of vacancy so student there is a condition within 6 month we need to fill the position and it was initially done students two time okay 1969 and 1977 okay we already discuss about the name of these two leaders okay so all means we already discuss it is option number a now student we are moving towards the third topic that is power of president but first we'll discuss about the mind map okay so president has lots of power he has executive power and executive power basically uh see students one power is called as legislative power it is already written here so legislative power means as we already discussed president is the part of parliament president lok sabha rajya sabha is the part of parliament if lok sabha and rajya sabha passed a bill and it is not passed by president then that bill will never will be converted as converted as act bill will never be converted as act getting it easy so we'll discuss about the executive power so see for the executive power there is a article number 53 of indian constitution where president is mentioning uh, means uh, this provision is mentioned for the president under the executive power the president will perform these duty by subordinate or directly within himself okay so this is one thing students so all power of the central government government vested in the president so like power to issue ordinance so president can promulgate any law if parliament is not in session but it will be a temporary law within 6 within 6 month it must be passed from the uh, both house okay another very important thing is students uh, it is maximum for 6 month the life of ordinance will be maximum for 6 month or 6 week so 6 week from the date when parliament will meet for the session from that day it will be leave for 6 week okay getting it 
now military power so basically uh, president is the supreme commander of the defense forces judicial power so president appoint the judges of supreme court and high court emergency power so under article 352 356 and 360 the emergency can be declared by president of india <coughs> sorry financial power so president control the indian contingency fund and appoint the finance commission so this if someone going to appoint someone so it means that he is more powerful diplomatic power so uh, he can sign international treaties agreement of negotiation and and these all concluded on the behalf of name of president students now we are going to discuss about the legislative provision here okay have you so for that purpose we need to move this side okay so what are the legislative provision there is a veto power absolute veto suspension veto qualified veto and pocket veto but in the legislative assembly students see there are lots of other power too basically president will summon for meet for the session of parliament president will call this meeting president will adjourn the meeting president will uh, 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 basically address the meeting okay means the first meeting when it is going to uh, start president will call for to present the budget okay as well as president till the time president is not going to give assent a bill is not going to be converted as act so bill will be converted as act when president will give assent i hope you all getting it so there is a veto power it is not written veto means forbid so it is passed by parliament no bill can be become an act without the consent of the president so veto power if pres president is not going to uh, pass that bill okay then there is a type of vetoes that is a uh, absolute veto president does not give assent to any bill okay and a suspension veto he will return the bill and then will again let's suppose bill again come then he is uh, means uh, bounded to give assent on the same then there's a pocket veto students pocket veto is a indirect veto that can use for making no action on the bill so by using this pocket veto the president can withhold a bill for a, any number of tenure or any number of uh, year or time okay so this is about the outline now we are moving towards the mcqs students so the president of india exercise his power it was in bihar psc 2016 just up the right answer so president of india exercise his power either directly or through officers subordinate to him through ministers through prime ministers or through cabinet so how the president of india can exercise his power so students i told you already the president of india has executive body okay so basically he will execute all power so there is a provision for executive power of president so under article 53 of indian constitution president of india exercises power either directly or through officers subordinate to him so this question was in bihar psc 2016 okay so he can directly participate in any type of exercise or there are lots of subordinate so basically this prime minister council of minister they are also the subordinate of the president all the constitutional bodies like upsc election commission judiciary they all functioning on the name of president of india students because they all appointed by president of india getting it so if we go through the explanation part the constitution of india under article 53 says that president can exercise his power either directly or by subordinate authority all the executive power is vested in president in practice are exercised by prime minister a subordinate authority with the help of council of minister so president is bound by constitution to act on the advice given by council of minister as long as advice is not violating the constitution 
Okay, everyone. Now see this question was in UPS UPPCS two thousand twelve. and this is basically statement based assertion and reason based so assertion says that union executive is headed by president of india so we all know students union executive okay so it is headed by the president so there is no limitation on power of president now just opt the right option for the same students so is there is any limitation to the president power okay is there is any limitation or he is free to do anything what you find the students union executive is mentioned under article 52 to 78 under the union executive president vice president council of minister plus prime minister along with that students attorney general of india is included here okay so union executive is basically headed by the president of india so this assertion is true but what about the reason there is no limitation so basically constitution limiting everyone okay it is limiting the state it is limiting the president it is limiting the citizen okay so everyone under the limitation everyone under the constitution so basically students if we go through the right option assertion is true but reason is false so c is going to be right answer for the same so union executive comprises three important constitutional post president prime minister council of minister attorney general of india students i hope you are getting it very important so president is the union uh, executive head okay easy now see the next question minister of union cabinets are appointed by under article 75 of indian constitution it is mentioned basically ministers of union cabinet is appointed by whom so it is by the president of india by the prime minister by the president on the advice of prime minister the prime by the prime by the uh, prime minister on the advice of president so what you see students under article 74 of indian constitution it says that there shall be a council of minister which is headed by prime minister to aid and advise president of india so basically students president is going to appoint prime minister and who is going to be appointed as prime minister so basically the person or the party who has majority in lok sabha lok sabha majority means 50% plus 1 if someone agree means some party is there who has 50% plus 1 vote then he will choose a name and he will uh, give this name to the president okay and after that students what you find he will give this name to the president of india and he will be appointed as prime minister now students this prime minister going to create a council and he is basically chosen by prime minister he will suggest this name to the president and president appoint subordinate to him so the right answer is the president of india on the advice of prime minister i hope you all able to understand it and i just want right answer from you students so option c is correct the ministers in the union cabinet are appointed by president on the advice of prime minister according to article 75 of the indian constitution the prime minister shall be appointed by the president and other ministers shall be appointed by the president on the advice of prime minister but there is a condition students that was added by 91st constitutional amendment act year 2003 so under this condition it means that 15 means the council of minister number not more than 15% of lok sabha seats so it must not be more than 15% of lok sabha seat so the council of minister including prime minister uh, it must not it shall not exceed 
of strength of Lok Sabha. 15% of strength of Lok Sabha stories. Now, see the question number 4. It was in Maharashtra PSC 2011 and 2016. So, the president according to Indian constitution shall act in accordance with the advice given by council of minister. So, it was in Maharashtra PSC. Just read the statement and you have to choose the correct answer. President according to Indian constitution shall act in accordance with the advice given by the council of minister. Now, the president may require the council of minister to consider such advices but that advises not binding the president of India student. So, this is very important and uh, uh, there is a condition also president will function, president will act according to advice given by prime minister and council of minister. So, option A is correct, statement 1 is correct, president may require the council of minister to consider such advices. So, he required. So, statement 2 is incorrect. So, the most appropriate and correct answer is option B. Okay, everyone. So, statement 1 is correct as according to article 74 of Indian constitution. President will uh, act accordance with the advice given by council of minister. Statement 2 is incorrect because president may require the council of minister to reconsider such advices and the president shall act in accordance with the advice tender after such reconsideration. So, thus reconsidered advice is binding on the president students. I hope you all getting it easy. Now, just move to the next question, question number 5. So, who among the following is empowered to establish the interstate council? Who among the following is empowered to establish the interstate council students? Basically, interstate council is created to uh, uh, solve that, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, let's suppose some uh, disputes are there. So, in that case, it will function. Okay. So, basically, interstate council is created by president. Okay. So, it is created by president of India. Okay, so I just added it is under Article 263. So, President is empowered to establish the Interstate Council. Interstate Council is an Indian constitutional body set up on the basis of provision given under Article 263 of Indian Constitution. The body was formed by President, order dated on 28th of May 1919 on recommendation of Sarkaria Commission. The aim of Interstate Council are decentralization of power. Uh, as much as possible and more transfer of financial resources to the state's arrangement for devolution in such a way the state fulfill their obligation. Now see the next question, question number 6. Article 103 of Constitution of India, the president shall obtain the opinion of which of the following authority before giving any decision on any question regarding the disqualification of member of Lok Sabha students. So this question was in RAS Rajasthan Administrative Service 2021. Welcome, Royal Boy. Okay, so just join the channel as well as if you feel doubt, we are always open to you. Okay, so uh, see, just of the right answer, students. Article 103 of Indian Constitution the President shall obtain opinion to disqualify any member of Lok Sabha. So, to whom he will take consideration, to whom he will get, get advice, it is by Supreme Court, it is by Election Commission, it is by Attorney General, or it is by Speaker of Lok Sabha students. So, what you see, the correct answer is basically, Election Commission of India is going to give advice to the President on the disqualification of any member students. So, according to Article 103, if any question arises as to whether a member of either House of Parliament has become subject to disqualification, mentioned in Clause 1 and Article 102, the question shall be referred to the decision on the President and his decision will be final. But before giving decision, he will uh, may take the opinion of Chief Election Commissioner or Election Commissioner. 
ओके आर्यन नाउ सी द सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन अकॉर्डिंग टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया इट इज द ड्यूटी ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट टू प्रिवेंट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑन द डेस्क ऑफ पार्लियामेंट ओके इट इज वेस्ट बेंगाल सिविल सर्विसेज सो इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन इट वॉज आस्क सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट इज द ड्यूटी ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट टू प्रिवेंट प्रेजेंट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑन द डेस्क ऑफ पार्लियामेंट स्टूडेंट्स सो बेसिकली देर आर सम रिपोर्ट्स दैट इज सबमिटेड टू प्रेसिडेंट एंड प्रेसिडेंट विल सेंड टू द पार्लियामेंट स्टूडेंट्स फॉर द डिस्कशन ओके सो रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ यूनियन फाइनेंस कमीशन रिपोर्ट्स ऑफ द पब्लिक अकाउंट कमिटी रिपोर्ट ऑफ द कॉम्पटोरल एंड ऑडिटर जनरल एंड रिपोर्ट ऑन द नेशनल कमीशन फॉर शेड्यूल कास्ट ओके आर यू सो if these bodies recommending anything or reporting anything these all will be presented to the president and president will give to the parliament students so what you see the all answer is going to be correct okay so it is the duty of the president to present before the parliament annual financial statement report of the comptroller and auditor general recommendation of the upsc and uh, reports of national commission for backward class national commission for scheduled caste national commission for scheduled tribe as well as the report of a special officer for the linguistic minorities and the report of the public account committee so these all reports are submitted to the parliament or presented to the parliament by the president okay everyone so this question was in upsc pre 2014 now sir, just see just read it because as i already told you in upsc questions looks easy but there are some different uh, uh, approach we have to follow okay so consider the following statement president shall make rule for the more convenient transaction of businesses of government of india and for the allocation of among the ministries of the said business okay then uh, statement 2 says that all executive action of the government of india shall be expressed to be taken in the name of prime minister so see the question is very easy okay so just opt the right answer students now there's a there's a basically uh, uh, means you have to choose the right answer which of the following is correct student as already discussed ki all executive action is done on the name of president so all executive action will be done on the name of president not on the name of prime minister and president can make convenient uh, means can make rule for the convenient of business okay so only statement 1 is going to be correct so this question is quite easy okay but there is a knowledge plus also so only statement 1 is incorrect article 77 state about the conduct of business of government of india the president shall make rule for the more convenient transaction of the business of the government of india and for the allocation among the ministries of said businesses so article i'm sorry statement 2 is incorrect because according to uh, article 77 all executive action of government of india shall be expressed in the taken of name of the president of india students okay there is a knowledge plus article 77 clause 2 of indian constitution include that order and the other instruments made and executed in the name of president shall be authenticated in such manner as may be specified in rule 2 be made by president and the validity of an order or instrument which is so authenticated shall be shall not be called in a question on the ground that is not an order or instrument made or executed by the president students i hope you all getting it so this is about the knowledge plus if you feel doubt just tell me now the next question the president of india addresses the parliament under article 87 of the indian constitution it means what in a joint sitting of both house of parliament so joint sitting is mentioned under article 108th of indian constitution the joint meeting of both house of parliament sorry it is joint sitting it is joint meeting okay so joint session sitting in both house of parliament and both house of parliament if they assembled 
together. What is the right answer for the same student? So, when there is a both houses going to assemble together, they meet together, at that time president can address the house students by article 87. So, the president address both house at the first session after each general election to the house of people at the commencement of the first session of the year students. Now, see this question once again was in multiple examination like in MPPSC, Maharashtra, Maharashtra PSC, UP PSC as well as Uttarakhand PSC. So, the joint sitting of the house of people and the council of state is summoned by the president, the speaker of Lok Sabha, the parliament or the chairman of Rajya Sabha. So, student joint sitting. As I already told you, it is mentioned under Article 108th of Indian Constitution. And there is a provision, if let's suppose there is any deadlock between these two houses, then president is the authorized person who is going to call for the joint sitting under Article 108 and it is done by the president of India students. Getting it? So, option A is going to be right for the same. Okay, Arjun. So, joint sitting of House of People as well as Council of State is summoned by president and it has been mentioned in the Article 108 of our Indian Constitution students. It is summoned when a bill, ordinary bill is passed by one house but opposed by other house of parliament students. Now, see this uh, question was in MPPSC 2020. So, which of the following expression is appropriate regarding the message to call joint setting of both house under article 108 of Indian constitution. So, basically intention of president, direction of president, wisdom of president and consent of president. So, let's suppose there is a deadlock between these two houses and it is needed. So, who will call this joint setting? So, it is called by president of India, call on, on name only. Basically, it is advised by prime minister and council of minister. But let's suppose he is going to call. So, which uh, 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 word means which expression will he used? Intention, direction, wisdom or consent. So, basically students, it is about the intention, what he want. Okay. So, it is about the intention of president of India. So, A is correct. Intention of president is the appropriate expression regarding the message to call joint sitting of both house under article 108 of Indian constitution. 108 is mentioning about the joint sitting. Then president can summon joint sitting unless the bill has uh, uh, basically elapsed because the Lok Sabha's dissolution. <coughs> Sorry. The speaker presided over the joint sitting. If a speaker is not there, then deputy speaker of Lok Sabha, if he is also not there, then it is presided by the deputy chairman of Rajya Sabha. Chairman of Rajya Sabha will not uh, be the chairperson of joint setting anytime. Okay, everyone. Now see the twelfth question. With reference to the special address of the president of India, which of the following statement is correct? This was in UPSC pre-2021. So, president address joint meeting of both house of parliament at the commencement of first session after each general election of the house of people and at the commencement of first session of each year. Okay. Now, second statement says that president in his address inform parliament the cause of its summons. Okay. So, first says that whenever the uh, general election is conducted and uh, a new uh, party is going to be elected then uh, whenever they meet for the first meeting the president will go and address there as well as in every year in the first session of every year he will address so yes it is correct students it is correct president as addressing the house and uh, statement 2 says that the president in his uh, address inform the parliament of the cause of its summons. So, here he is mentioning that why he called this meeting. So, basically if you see the both statement is correct. Getting it? So, both statement will be correct for the same. Okay. So, statement 1 and 2 correct with reference to a special address of the president according to article 7 of constitution. 
two instances when president specially addressed both houses so the president of india addressed both the rajya sabha and lok sabha at the beginning of first session after each general election when the reconstituted lower house meet for the first time president also addressed both house at the beginning of first session of each year students now we have the 13th question and uh, it is in uk psc maharashtra psc so who summon or prorogues both house of parliament so who will summon the meeting okay so it is prime minister it is speaker it is president and it is minister so already students we discussed this question multiple times so basically the president of india call for the meeting students so he will summon for the meeting okay everyone now president can dissolve lok sabha on so lok sabha can be dissolved but there is a recommendation who can give this recommendation so it is by the chief justice of india lok sabha self recommend or recommendation of union cabinet or rajya sabha recommendation student basically to dissolve lok sabha there is a council of minister and it is headed by prime minister so the prime minister will advise to president to dissolve the lok sabha and conduct a fresh election so it is by the cabinet students simple word we can use here okay uh, if prime minister is also there then it is also going to be correct so president can dissolve lok sabha on the recommendation of union cabinet or the council of minister according to article 85 clause 2 the president can dissolve the house of people that is lok sabha president act on aid and advice of the council of minister headed by the prime minister hence if council of minister advise president to dissolve lok sabha then president will dissolve lok sabha students getting it now see this question 15th number it is in uppsc 2010 which one of the following article of constitution vest the executive power of the union in the president students so which of the following article of the constitution vests the executive power of president this question is multiple time in up examination article 51 as we know it is a part of directive principle of state policy international peace and security okay article 52 is about the president article 53 is about the executive power and article 54 is about the election of president students so what is right answer for the same article 53 is basically executive power of union and president students it is vested in the president getting it option c is going to be right answer for the same okay and article 77 is all executive decision taken in the name of president of india now see the question number 16 it is in bihar psc up psc nagaland uttar pradesh as well as up roaro according to constitution of india executive power is vested in the prime minister president council of minister or cabinet so executive power is vested in okay executive power students so as i already told you under article 53 of indian constitution it is included it is inducted in or it is inside the president of india students we already discuss about this question multiple time i hope you all getting it okay everyone now we are moving towards the next question it was in chatisgarh psc 2017 which of the following is discretionary power of president means where the president can take self decision to appoint prime minister to leader of majority party so when there is a majority then party will decide who is prime minister he will give the name and pres president will appoint him as a prime minister to summon the parliament to return bill to parliament without with objections to appoint member of council of minister to assent the bill referred by governor to detain a bill means to pocket veto to ask prime minister for such information related to any advice and to say his council of minister for reconsideration on any advice so 
which of the following is going to be correct regarding the same students okay the very unique and very important question okay so what you see prime minister cannot appoint sorry president cannot appoint a prime minister to the leader of majority party of his own choice if there is a majority they will recommend him he can summon the parliament only on the advice of council of minister he can return a bill to parliament with objections yes sometime he can do okay let's suppose he is not satisfied then he can send it along with that students he can appoint council of minister only on the advice of prime minister assent to bill referred by governor okay so this is also a uh, uh, means uh, it will be a uh, the part of the discretion but uh, there is a condition to okay detain a bill so pocket veto he can use to ask prime minister for such information that is related to any advice he can ask for advice because it is uh, there is under article 74 to as well as to says council of minister for reconsideration on any advice so let's suppose he is going to give means basically council of minister giving any advice so he can say he just reconsider it once again getting it okay everyone okay now let's move to the next question so here statement 3 is correct and we already discussed about the same means statement uh, 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 four statements are correct under article uh, sorry under uh, option e now the union president can directly disallow a state legislation in case of any bill in case of money bill in case of bill reserved by governor for president assent or both so president can directly disallow a state legislation on basis of what okay so there is a condition students okay so <clears throat> if you go with it a uh, basically a bill reserved by governor for president assent he can directly allow disallow for the state legislation students state legislation here okay so for it is connected with the state okay now which among the following is appointed by president of india chairman of finance commission under article 280 vice chairman of planning commission so planning commission is no more there is a niti aayog now okay chief minister of union territories so who appointed by president so cms are appointed by presidents in the union territory not in the states as well as vice chairman of planning commission or niti aayog it is appointed by prime minister students the chairman of finance commission appointed by the president of india so option 1 and 3 is going to be correct and other is going to be incorrect students i hope you all getting it okay everyone now the question number 20 will be your homework under which article of the constitution president can take over the administration of a state in his own hand so this will be called as a state emergency okay so you have to choose the right answer for the same and you have to give the answer in the comment box and students will meet soon okay for the uh, same and if you feel any doubt and difficulties i am always open to you okay so just give your comment uh, with the right answer i am waiting for your comment and students as i already discuss you basically this session is based on this book prelims possible especially published by arihan and this book has lots of feature and this book is for the other subject also like indian history indian polity geography indian economy as well as general sciences so i'm just going to close this session here thank you so much for joining and listening students will meet soon take care have a great day as well as we are going to start the current affair from the today's and we'll do it in a weekly format